In this video, we'll go over how to create a customer return. Uh, to create a customer return, we click on IM3, go to Sales Order, and Customer Return. At first, it'll show you the only sales or the customer return that's open. Um, if you want to search for your customer return, you can click on the magnifying glass and filter out for your customer return that already exists, or use the advanced search features. Uh, to find your customer return. Uh, to create a new customer return, we click on the Add Return button. So we'll click on that, and we indicate the customer that we're returning for. Um, you can click on the magnifying glass and select what customer. Let's just select this person. And you can indicate uh, their reference number if they have one. If they have, uh, if you have a restocking fee, you can apply that as a percentage or a RMA number as needed, and click save. And at this point, it will give you a, a customer return number. And at this point, you can also add labor costs that you're returning if you wish to do that, or you can add items. And to add items, you can click on the plus button, um, and you can click on sales orders to search for any sales orders that you may have performed for this customer, and it would show you the parts for that. Uh, if you click on parts and click on the magnifying glass, it will show you all parts that you can return. So we can go ahead and say that that's the part they're returning. And click search, and you select it, and you click save. And at this point, it adds that line to the sales or to this customer return. It gives you the sales order number if there's one attached, the part number, unit measure, the RMA number. You can attach an RMA number at the line level. Um, the order quantity the unit price and the quantity returned. So we want to indicate one or more, however many there are. Um, the recent code, so these are all the reasons that you can have for return, defective, other, you select other, put in a reason, uh, on part. If they're taxable, the tax will show up, discount, if you apply a discount to this return, you can. The location that this part will be returned to will be a quarantine location and you can change that as you see fit uh, to any location. But for right now, we're going to return it to quarantine. Um, indicate the uh, total return quantity will be, once we save this, it'll say one, uh, total return price and the cost. So your grand total should be at 573. And let's click Save up here. And at this point, if we click on this button, this will return this into our system and we can generate put away labels as we see fit. Click print. And if I were to click on through to this part, you would see that one of these has been returned to quarantine. Going back to my customer return, I've done the return, the inventory is back in my system and now I want to generate the invoice for this customer of the credit memo click on the invoice button at the customer return, it generates a credit memo, there's your credit memo number, and you can approve this or cancel it as you see fit, and click save, or you can email this to your customer, or print it out as you see fit. Um, and that's how you would create a customer return in IM3.